On this video, I'm going to give you tips and tricks to maximize your time spent at the campsite on the weekends. We went camping with some people a few weeks ago and I ended up, the things that I do to prepare to go and everything, I didn't realize that a lot of people don't do them. So I wanted to give you my tips and tricks to this. So my first tip would be to prepare a list of all the things that you're gonna need while you're camping that weekend. Go ahead and figure out what you're gonna cook and make a total list of what all you need to take with you camping. So that way it's all ready and you don't have to think about, oh, what am I gonna cook today? That really helps. Then go to the store, buy the things that you need and go ahead and just put them into the camper. So that way when you get to the campsite, you're not wasting a few hours going and buying groceries. So that way you can spend more time at the campsite now, another thing that I like to do is because I prepare and think about what I want to eat while we're camping, is I go ahead and prepare these things. I have a patty maker that I had gotten at the Dollar Tree. It makes the right size patties super inexpensive to get. And I just go ahead, before we leave, I make blue cheeseburgers. And let me give you my recipe for blue cheeseburgers real quick. All it is, is you take the hamburger meat, you take blue cheese, take steak seasoning, and you just mix that all up with bacon bits and then press them into patties. They are so good. So if you like blue cheese, try those for sure. And then we just put pepper jack cheese on top. And if you wanna be a little extra, you can take some butter and blue cheese, mix it up, put it on top of the burger right before you put the cheese on it and put that on top and it just adds a little something to them. I like to prepare everything that I'm gonna use while I'm camping ahead of time. That way, the days that we're gonna do burgers, I can just grab them out of the refrigerator, they're ready, I can take them outside and we can cook them. I don't have to spend that extra time making the burgers and everything and missing out, hanging out outside with everybody. So I definitely would suggest whatever you're gonna cook, go ahead and do that ahead of time. If you're gonna want chopped onions, go ahead and chop your onions before you leave and put them in a Ziploc bag or in a little container and put them in the refrigerator. That way it's done and you're not spending all that time prepping. So I would really suggest prep everything before you go. Another thing that I feel like helps you when you're camping, you can buy little condiment holders and things at the Dollar Tree and maybe go ahead and just put some of those condiments in those. Not while you're not taking your big ketchup, mustard and stuff, but you have like the little ones, but you've got enough for your weekend trip. Now, another thing is I would suggest if it's in the cooler weather months, maybe go ahead and make your chili before you go. So all you have to do is heat it up when you get there. And the great thing about chili is you can make chili dogs, you can have chili, you can make nachos out of that. So you could take a big batch of chili, make three or four meals out of that one item. That's a thing that I like to do is I'll go ahead and make the meal before I even go. That way all we have to do is heat it up when we get there. To get ready to go camping for the weekend, try the week before, do little things each day to help you prepare to be ready to go camping. That way it's not all in one day and you have to get everything done all at one time. So just try to break the chores or things that you have to bring to the camper or do to the camper, break it down throughout the week before. That way you're not stressing the day you're leaving, trying to throw everything in the camper. Another thing that I like to do whenever we are going camping for the weekend and I think of something that I might need to take to the camper, I usually have a tote of some sort that I will grab that item and put it in that tote every time I think of something. That way I'm not walking 500 times from the house to here. I can at least put everything in that tote and maybe I won't forget something that I really need. 
Lists are very important when you're camping. I always put like a checklist of everything that I want to bring with me to put in the camper. That way, as I go that week, bringing things to the camper, I mark it off the list. That way I know it's in the camper because if I don't do that, I will forget something. I hope these tips and tricks help you when you're going camping this weekend or the next. If you like these tips and tricks, I have two videos about cooking in the RV and hopefully you can maybe watch one of those and they'll give you some more tips. Till next time, like and subscribe.